My, look at you. Straight as an arrow and right to the point every time. This isn't the tadpole I'm speaking to, is it? The personality seems a little... lacking. I have but one simple question for you guys. Can we get the beloved Shadow Heart from Baldur's Gate 3 into the new Dragon's Dogma 2? Well, today we're going to find out because it looks like the developers that created Dragon's Dogma 2 have actually put out a character creator for us to mess with, which is going to allow us to import the characters we create with it into the game once it goes live. And real quick before we begin, I just want to give a shout out to the original creator of this, who was even generous enough to give out these sliders on how to create Shadow Heart which I will put a link to the page on the description for this video, or you guys can just feel free to follow along as we create this character. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with a base body. We're just gonna kinda go from the beginning here. It doesn't matter what you pick. I'm pretty sure we can just kind of edit everything ourselves, so I'm just gonna go with this base body here, and then uh, let's go with this one, and then let's just choose this. Uh, why not? Okay, so for the body, torso height is going to be uh, 179. The torso length is going to be 23. Muscle type, 22. Muscle strength is going to be up to 100. Trap size, negative 52. Okay. Upper body, yeah. Upper body ma. <laughs> I can't talk today. Upper body muscle mass is going to be uh, down to seven. Lower body mass will be twenty-two. Upper body size. This is going to be a negative thirteen, I believe. Lower body size seven. Okay. Moving on to the head now. Head size is going to be negative 15. Head length 0. Head width negative 5. The head depth is going to be negative 19. There we go. Face height will be 77. Neck length is going to be 72. Neck thickness will be 3. Okay, and then for the upper body, let's do shoulder width at 10. Shoulder size, negative 30. Chest thickness at 0. Chest size, negative 20. Chest shape, zero. Chest height at zero. Torso width is going to be a five. Torso depth is going to be at zero. Arm length, negative 15. Arm size is going to be 10. Upper arm thickness will be at a 10. And then forearm thickness at 10. Next we've got the lower body. Negative 65 for the width. Waist size, negative 29. <laughs> Ass size, 5. Oops. I mean, this doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll just go with five. Leg size overall will be at zero. Thigh size will be at a zero as well. And then the calf size will be at zero, too. Okay. Now let's do the posture. Let's do a negative uh, 39. And I gotta give props to the uh, the devs making this game. This is such a cool feature. 
to literally alter the way your character walks and like your posture. This is like really awesome. Knee angle negative 100 and then posture at 28. So yeah, that's it's like that's so cool you can you can alter that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have this at 28 like I said. And then for the base head, we're going to go with a 20. Now, if you guys are second guessing it, just trust the process. Okay, we'll get there. 23. Skin color plus six. Wrinkles at a zero. Skin sheen at a 16. Brow at negative 22. The brow spacing is going to be a negative 46. Brow depth overall at a seven. Brow depth inner is going to be at a 24. The outer will be never negative 63. Brow angle two. Brow bend negative 78. Okay. Eyes. Let's do the eye height at negative 81. The width at 98. Eye depth at 14. Eye size at 100, negative 100. Eye angle, 9. And we're going to do the eye squint for both of these at 63. Oh, 68. Moving on to the nose. Nose length, negative 39. Bridge width at 40. Bridge height, negative 24. Bridge bump overall at 0. Bridge bump upper at negative 32. Bridge bump lower at negative 89. Nostril size at 36. Nostril height at negative 100. Nostril width at 2, tip depth at, at negative 82, tip angle 65, tip sharpness negative 19. Okay, moving on to the ears. So the styles none, size 0, angle negative 37, openness negative 10. Tilt zero, tips 70, and lobes at negative 40. Okay, okay, we're getting there. Moving on to the cheeks. So the cheek neck thickness at negative 33, negative 25, negative 60. This will be at zero. The width is negative 100 and the depth at negative 100. For the mouth, we're gonna go with a one. For the width, we're gonna go with negative 48. 
for the propulsion. 24. Mouth corners, it's going to be negative 50. Mouth lip thickness is going to be negative 31. Lower lip position will be negative 21. Okay. Now for the jaw chin, we're going to go with the definition at 55. Jaw width at negative 28. Jaw position, 65. Jaw pro, 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 chu, <laughs> protrusion. I cannot talk today. Negative 57. Chin height, 10. Chin width at 30. Chin protrusion at negative 20. Sharpness, 0. Now we're going to go to the hairstyle. So the hairstyle is going to be 56. Yeah, I'd say that's, uh, that's Shadow Hearts. Shadow Hearts hair. Root color, 78. Go for the two. Tip blend, 50. Sheen position at 50, and then sheen at 21. And then I'm just gonna change the lighting real quick so I can, there we go. Okay. For her eyebrows, we're gonna go with 13, and then for the color, we're gonna go with one. And then for the thickness, we're gonna go 76. Now for the eyes. Let's do type 2 for the eyes. Um, both none. For the iris primary color, we're going to go with 131. There's a lot of colors here. For the secondary color, we're going to go with 150. And then for the third one, we're just going to go with one. Tertiary color. 107 for the Seclara color. And then iris size, negative 25. Pupil size at 26. For her eyelashes, we're going to go with type 2. For the root color, 1. Eyelash tip color, 1. Root tip blend, 0. Length, 61. And then the density is going to be at 72. For the eyeshadow, we're going to go with 5. For the style. For the first color, 1. And then for the second color, one. For the eyeshadow intensity, we're gonna go with 20. For the coverage, 100. The opacity up to 70. For the metallic, zero. For the sheen, 50. And that's it. For eyeliner, we're gonna go with five for the style, one for the color, 57 for coverage. Oops, I already did this one. We've got two freckles. The type's going to be two. The freckle color is going to be a one. And then for the opacity, we're going to pull that down to 49. Cheeks are going to be a four for the cheek style. Color is going to be a 10. For the cheek opacity, 68. Metallic, zero, and then sheen, 50. For the lips, we're gonna go with a type two for the style. Lip color is going to be a 14. Color spread, 100. Opacity, zero. 
Metallic Zero, and then Sheen 75. Teeth don't need to be altered, but this is what they should look like. Moving on to the body scars. So, body scar is going to be a the number 11. Vertical position, the vertical position is going to be at 51. Horizontal position at 2. Rotation at negative 70. Overall scale is going to be at 7. Vertical scale is going to be 11. And 7 for the horizontal scale. Vertical tiling 1. Horizontal tiling 1. Opacity is going to be at 53. Intensity at 65. And the sheen at 50. I don't know about you guys, but that looks damn good. That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> that is literally Shadow Heart in Dragon's Dogma. Wow. I honestly was not expecting it to be this good. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. Now you can have, or well, you can play as Shadow Heart, or have her as one of your companions in Dragon's Dogma 2. And what's really cool about this whole demo is you can literally save this. So we can just go to finalize. Let's change your vocation to fighter. Cantation. She's calm, right? Yeah. And then let's do. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated. There are more who can yet be saved. Yeah, Calm Wise 4 is the best voice, I think, for her. Let's do... Can we click? Shadow Heart. Okay. And I'm guessing they probably do not have... <laughs> Shadow Heart on here. So let's just see. No. So let's just go with. Oh, Shadow. Look at that. So, there we go. Now I've got Shadow Heart as a companion that I can summon for when the game goes live. That's awesome. And that is going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed this one, let me know by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Also, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Is there a particular character that you guys would like to see me showcase? If so, let me know. Thanks again for watching. I'm still Solo, and I'll see you all in the next one.